Hello, this is Riptide Hosting's introduction to the iDRAC 7, which is Dell's KVM over IP to access your server remotely. In the cases this is good is in whenever you cannot SSH in or remote desktop into your server, let's say you turned your server off or you locked yourself out somehow, you come to a website and if you have a server with us at Riptide, you always have an iDRAC Enterprise card. Note right here, it says Enterprise, it says the version. That's an iDRAC 7, so take the first letter of each one and the 7 version. So basically you pull up a browser, in this case this is actually Internet Explorer which used to not work so well, this is the version 10. And you can type in your username and password. We have a test one set up here. So what all can you do? I mentioned if you turn off your server, let's say your server is shut down or you can't access it. You can log in right here and find out is it on, is it off. You can see the health of your server. Batteries, fans, intrusions, you can dig into each of these things. Oh, look at this. A virtual console preview. This will show you what's actually on your server screen right now. Is it stuck booting? Is it at a login prompt? Is somebody already logged into the console? That's where we can launch that to see. Let's say you want to add some other users so they have different permissions. You can do that as well. You come over here and go to iDirect settings, network, user authentication. So you can basically add more users. Here's our test route login. You can click on another one of these guys, the, the numbers right here, and you can set up another user with different permissions. Let's come back to the overview. Summary, details, system inventory. What you usually care about is this console right here. And it tells you some different settings here. And right here it says launch virtual console. Clicking that is the same thing as on the home page once this shows up you can click over here on the launch button so that's the two different ways you can launch let's click that Whoa. and you'll notice down here this web page wants to run the following add-on you need to allow that get the little box say oh always trust this okay run this one please so depending on your security settings that's all it takes so right now it's like we're physically at the data center with your keyboard, mouse, and video, or my keyboard, mouse, and video plugged into the server. Like literally, this is the BIOS. So what all can we do here? We have power. We can gracefully shut down. We can power off. You can't power on right now because the system's already on. But we could power it off. We could recycle it. What else can we do? Tools. We have cursor options, macros. Let's go click the Control Alt Delete. What's it doing? It just rebooted the box. That's what I was waiting on. Since there's no operating system on this box, it literally, we can go in and if we have a DVD in there, if we have their access to Pixie Boot, we can load the server without even physically touching it once it's networked correctly. So once again, this is an out-of-band KVM over IP. So we take an IP that we have in your range, we set it up on the iDRAC, and this is your emergency access. Basically, we include all this on every server because the time it would take you to call us and for us to look at it and hook a KVM unit up to it, most likely you would have already found out and fixed it. Obviously it's a hardware issue, not so easy. Speaking of hardware issues, oh, one thing I did not mention, the iDRAC 7 is all on the 20 series, so the new servers as of 2012 and 2013 are 420s, 620s, 720s from Dell. So the iDRAC 7 is part of that, and once again this is the iDRAC Enterprise. So what else can we do in here? You can come into the logs and see what's going on there, if people are trying to log in. You can also set it up that if there's any hardware issues to go ahead and email you or email us or email somebody. So you can look around in here and you can see all the different settings you can look at and make sure everything's okay. But long story short, basically, if you don't have access to your server through SSA to remote desktop, this is the first thing you can do instantly yourself to say, hey, is the server hung on reboot? Is it waiting for an F1? Is there something else going on where I disconnected the network? So literally, you could go in there and shut down your NIC, disable it, and you wouldn't have access. This way, through the iDRAC, you would have access. Hopefully, you will see how powerful this is that gives you basically touch to your server through a different out-of-band access always. So you will know what's going on. If you broke something, if you're trying to set something up, you can log back in as if you're physically there and remedy the problem. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thanks.